Hello students, this is 1.19, the first chapter, 19th problem. And the problem is a point traversed half a circle of radius 160 cm during time interval 10 seconds. Calculate the following quantities averaged over that time. Averaged over that time. First part is the mean velocity. The mean velocity. Second is the modulus of mean velocity vector. And the third one is the modulus of mean vector of total acceleration. If the point moved with constant tangency of acceleration. It means a particle is revolving in a circle. And our question is up to half circle, semicircle. Let this is the starting point x and this is the final point of the circle y. The direct distance between these two points is equal to uh, diameter of the circle that radius is r so diameter will be 2r this part is 2r this is r and r a point traverses half a circle of radius 160 cm during time interval 10 second 10 second is the time to complete this journey calculate the following quantities averaged over that time so the first question is the mean velocity the mean velocity the mean velocity uh, first एक बात यहाँ ध्यान दें कि ये जो वर्ड वेलोसिटी इन्होंने यूज़ किया है, this is converted, this should be converted to speed, the mean speed of the particle averaged over this time. So mean speed means net distance by net time. So first part A is mean speed because velocity is a vector quantity and we have to determine because first and second questions are similar if we take this, the mean velocity and the modulus of mean velocity. So according to my opinion, this would be the mean speed. It is mean speed, not mean velocity. Because second part is mean velocity and it's modulus. So second part uh, is about mean velocity vector modulus and first is about mean speed. So mean speed in the track xy will be total distance by total time. So mean speed of the particle, mean speed of the particle equal to total distance. Total distance is pi r half circle divided by total time, total time taken is 10 seconds. So mean speed will be pi r by 10, it is pi into 160 centimeter by 10 seconds. So answer will be 16 pi centimeter per second. This is the answer of first part of the problem, the mean speed of the particle in this first time. The modulus of mean velocity vector now, the mean velocity, not mean velocity, we have to decide its mean velocity vector. So mean velocity vector modulus, modulus of mean velocity vector is total displacement by total time and from x to y net displacement is equal to diameter divided by, divided by total time 10 seconds, it is 2 into 160 centimeter upon 10. So it is 32 centimeter per second. This is the answer of the second part. So mean velocity, mean velocity modulus in this uh, much path is 32 centimeter per second but mean speed is 16 pi. The data clearly explains that mean speed in this problem is uh, greater than mean velocity. I have you topic discussions in this particle ki mean velocity ya to mean speed ki equal equal ho ki, ya usse kam ho ki. and this question explains that it is 32 mean velocity modulus is 32 but mean speed is 16 pi. It is approximately uh, 40, 50. 50 cm per second its value approximately. So 50 and 30. These are mean speed and mean velocity. Now the third part, the modulus of mean vector of total acceleration. If the point moved with constant tangency of acceleration. The point moved with constant tangency of acceleration. This is the last line of the problem. The particle moves with constant tangency of acceleration. अगर पार्टिकल एक्सेलरेटेड मोशन करता है या रिटार्डेड मोशन करता है तो भी हमारे दो पार्ट के आंसर्स जैसे हैं वैसे ही होते हैं बिकॉज़ मीन स्पीड डिपेंड्स ऑन टोटल डिस्टेंस एंड टोटल टाइम एंड मीन वेलोसिटी एवरेज वेलोसिटी मीन वेलोसिटी डिपेंड्स ऑन टोटल डिस्प्लेसमेंट बाय टोटल टाइम सो दीस आर कंसिस्टेंट पार्ट्स बट इन थर्ड पार्ट इट इज गिवन दैट पॉइंट मूव्ड विद कांस्टेंट टेंजेंशियल एक्सेलरेशन हियर वन थिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट टोटल एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ अ पार्टिकल इन सर्कुलर मोशन इज द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ इट्स सेंटिपीटल एक्सेलरेशन एंड टेंजेंशियल एक्सेलरेशन so in this part we should determine both the parts centripetal acceleration and tangential both but it is given that point moved with constant tangential acceleration and particle is moving in a circular track and tangential acceleration is this <coughs> so 
a particle is moving with constant tangent since tangential acceleration has the direction of velocity tangential acceleration ek circle pe tangent ki direction mein hota hai aur tangential acceleration agar constant वैल्यू के साथ मूव कर रहा है कांस्टेंट टेंजेंशियल एक्सेलरेशन सो एनी वेक्टर क्वांटिटी मे बी अ कांस्टेंट ओनली इफ इट डज नॉट चेंज इट्स डायरेक्शन बट हियर वी सी दैट डायरेक्शन इज चेंजिंग कंटीन्यूअसली सो कंसीडर इट एज अ सर्कुलर मोशन विद यूनिफॉर्म इट मींस ये बात कंफर्म है कि इस पूरे सर्कल में पार्टिकल अपनी स्पीड को कंसिस्टेंटली कंसिस्टेंट रखते हुए ट्रैवल कर रहा है इस पूरी प्रॉब्लम में क्योंकि अगर ये कांस्टेंट टेंजेंशियल एक्सेलरेशन से मूव कर रहा है तो वो कांस्टेंट टेंजेंशियल एक्सेलरेशन पार्टिकल का जीरो है क्योंकि जीरो इज द ओनली वैल्यू व्हिच यू कैन टेक कांस्टेंट इन अ सर्कुलर सो हम ये मान के चल रहे हैं इस प्रॉब्लम में कि ये पार्टिकल इस सर्कुलर ट्रैक पे एक कांस्टेंट स्पीड के साथ चल रहा है इसकी वेलोसिटी एक कांस्टेंट नहीं है क्योंकि वो डायरेक्शन वेरी कर रही है इसलिए प्रॉब्लम में वेलोसिटी की जब बात आई है तो मॉड्यूलस पर क्वेश्चन उठा है बट मीन स्पीड स्पीड इज अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी सो पहला पार्ट केवल मीन स्पीड कैलकुलेट करने का मीन स्पीड इज दिस mean velocity modulus is 32 and third part gives the information that point moved with constant tangential acceleration tangential acceleration is a vector quantity aur ye agar constant hai to it means kewal ek hi possibility hai ki tangential acceleration zero hai aur tangential acceleration zero hai iska ye meaning hai seedha seedha ki particle is circular track pe constant speed ke sath travel kar raha hai aur kewal iske paas centripetal acceleration hai wahi hame find out karna hai the modulus of mean vector of total acceleration the point moved with constant tangential acceleration so uh, acceleration of the particle now we know that mean acceleration mean vector of total acceleration acceleration of the particle is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taken final velocity of the particle at this point is suppose it is v numerically so mean acceleration of the particle in this throw of that is final velocity final velocity is v i with negative sign and initially it is vi with positive sign so final minus initial divided by total time taken this is mean acceleration of the particle this is time taken this is final velocity this is initial so it is minus 2 vi upon time it is the final velocity the mean acceleration of the particle is minus 2 v over t i minus 2 v over t into i now this minus 2 v over t into i means minus 2 upon t into velocity velocity and what is the velocity of the particle we know that this v here is the numerical magnitude of its speed of motion because i is here to decide direction so you should take v as the value of v you should take as the value of v will be it is mean speed it is uh, 16 pi so it is 16 pi ek baat yahan par clearly samjhe ki ye v ke place pe hum mean velocity ka magnitude bhi use kar sakte hain mean speed bhi but matlab ek confusion ke through bachcha ye baat exam mein confuse kar sakta hai ki hame in dono mein se kaun si value yahan par put up karni hai to dhyan se dekhen ki jab mean acceleration calculate kar rahe hain then directions are decided by this i cap and this v here is not velocity it is speed it is only the numerical value of the particle in motion v v and all the points there is the speed of the particle is consistently v so make it clear that this v is only speed of this circular track not velocity so take speed value of speed in this place you will get this as minus 32 pi by total time taken time taken is 10 seconds so answer is minus 3.2 into pi and the value of minus 3.2 pi you can get this is the value of mean or average acceleration of the particle is minus 3.2 pi i its direction is negative because in first one fourth circle the acceleration of the particle is working in this direction and after that it is working in opposite direction so mean acceleration throughout the track will be minus 3.2 pi i to dhyan rakhiye ek baar se ki first part is mean speed and speed is distance over time mean velocity modulus is displacement over time and third part is mean acceleration which is final velocity minus initial velocity by time so final velocity is minus vi initial velocity is again minus vi divided by time taken it is minus 2 vi upon time taken here v represents speed not velocity because i has been taken for direction 
So V is speed, speed is 16 pi and the answer is minus 3.2 pi. This is the way to solve this problem.